right, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am very tired. I nearly forgot to film this video. I've been out all day Christmas shopping and I just came home and was like, oh wait, I was meant to do this this morning. So this is my Pandos eyeshadows update. You guys are seeing this on Friday. I'm filming it obviously on the last day of the month, as I do every single month. Uh, so I'm filming it on the 30th of November and yeah, so this month I have definitely had fewer uses. Um, that's not a surprise to anyone. I have mentioned across my projects that I just haven't been wearing makeup as much, like this, this, this last month or the month before in fact. So the uses actually show that. If you're wondering what I ordered, it's a hot chocolate with marshmallows. My favourite from Costa. I was in Tesco, I did a massive food shop on my way home and then the road was closed so I was like okay I'm just gonna go to Costa and get a hot chocolate. Let's get into my update. So the first item is my Revolution eyeshadow palette. I'm gonna try and not spoil the Burgundy Night Shade as that's in my 2022. Um, so the shade in here is called Tarnish and it is this shade here. As you can see actually, this month, um, we are actually beginning to get a dip coming through, which is exciting. I've used it 12 times this month for a total of 140 uh, uses. I want to see how long it's going to take me to hit pan on this. But yeah, so I've been using it every time I wear makeup because it's such a difficult eyeshadow to work with. These are like... Some of them are really easy to work on in this in this palette, and then some of them are quite hard panned, like hard pressed even. And so like, you know, I've got the Burgundy Nights eyeshadow, which is my 22 and 22, for example. That took a long time to hit pan on, and I'm not even like halfway through finishing that yet. That's a kind of a spoiler, I guess. It's better to have pro some progress than none at all. Okay, the next eyeshadow, I thought I was going to finish it last month and I was like I'm definitely going to pan it this month and I actually panned it the day after I filmed my last month's update so this is it and as you can see so I used this a total of twice this month so I used it once when I panned it and I was like uh, I want to just use it one more time, so I used it twice. <laughs> 41 uses for it to be panned. It was pretty much brand new when I rolled it in, so I kind of know how quickly I can pan these now, because I've done it in quite a few of the shades now. Well, I've done it in two of the shades, and they're both around about the same amount of time, I think. So, yeah, we will be rolling in a new eyeshadow to replace this today, which I'm very excited about. Um, next we've got my gingerbread palette and we've got my looky at my cookie eyeshadow. I've managed to get a pretty deep dip like to the point where it's looking like this and um, I've done this in less uses. So I rolled this eyeshadow out, gingerbread out, when I had reached 78 uses because I was like this is ridiculous I'm not padding it. I have now got further than that in with looking at my cookie using it 47 times so pretty much just under just over half of the amount of times I've used it in. I do think this will be rolling out probably I want to say in December but it's probably going to be January at this point. I think it'll be a, not a surprise if I do roll this out in December. It's such a soft eyeshadow and it picks up a lot on the brush but it's also a really convenient eyeshadow for blending, for um, transitioning, for setting. Not too surprised, I mean it still has been 47 uses since I've rolled it into this project so that's still quite a lot of uses. Okay next up, I don't know if I mentioned it but was it the month before? where I realised I was using the wrong eyeshadow and then I was like, oh, I need to actually use the correct one. So I have been solely focusing on the correct eyeshadow, which is this one here, which is called Crystal Blue. And as you can see, we have got a dip in play. Now, I already have panned in this one, obviously, as you can see, and this one. So I kind of know how long, how deep these pans are. Um, 
but we are making some sort of progress. We've got a good dip forming. Um, because I wasn't using deep as much this month, I was actually working more on this eyeshadow on a daily basis and pretty much used it, well, I used it 12 times. Um, so in total I've used this 33 times um, in this project. And finally we have got my Lorac palette in here and I have only reached for this twice this month. So it adds up to a total of seven times, which I know is quite bad when I've got an eyeshadow in here that is part of my um, 2022, but I just wasn't really digging working on this. Ten in each row. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. It's this shade here. So um, this month I have definitely added a bit more of a dip uh, in those couple of uses. But these are quite easy to work with, so dips form quite easily. Okay, so I've now swatched my hands. So this is the deep eyeshadow which we are now rolling out. And these are the current eyeshadows I have in my project. So we have got so we've got the Lorac eyeshadow, we have got the Emmy Ray Poptastic. Crystal Blue, we've got Looking at My Cookie by Too Faced in the Gingerbread Palette and we've got Tarnish in the Revolution Palette. So without further ado, let's roll in a new eyeshadow. Let me just get the correct numbers up. So it's, it ends in 720 and the top is at 102. Alright, now let's roll in new eyeshadow 155 that's relatively old in my collection okay this is gonna be a tough one this is the palette I have rolled in it is my Urban Decay Naked 2 palette and as you can tell a lot of the eyeshadows have unglued themselves So the eyeshadow that I have rolled into this project, let me just make sure that they will stay, I'm going to try and show you guys, is Verve, which is this shade here, this silvery shade. If I zoom in, maybe I don't have to try and hold it up as much. Yeah, Verve, which is this shade here. It looks more like a highlighter than an eyeshadow, that's for sure. Look at that glisten. I was going to say gleam. Look at that glisten. It is stunning. Um, so we've now got all neutral shades apart from crystal blue. Yeah, there we go. There is my new colour story. Um, I'm actually okay with working with this. I know after using an Urban Decay palette in my 22 and 2022, how long it takes me to pan eyeshadows. Um, funnily in fact, funnily about that, funnily, funny fact about that actually, is I've been working on the Urban Decay eyeshadow in 2022, and it's only been today where I've hit pan on the eyeshadow, and I've been working on that since the beginning of the year. Um, and that's taken me how many uses? I've got it in my, I've got it in my spreadsheet. It's taken me like nearly a hundred uses to get to that point. So this is going to be a long burner as well. A long burner? She's, it's gonna be a difficult one as well. But I think what we'll have on our side is the fact that it is a lighter shade. It is also a shimmery shade. And they tend to pan quicker than darker or matte shades for me. So I think we'll have that on our side, especially as it's like a nice eyeshadow to wear on a wintery Christmas festive season period. Um, the main issue I have with this is that I need to try and make sure I don't break these because they will fall out. Look, can you hear? Like, look, this one for example just pops right out. I might need to invest in some glue. 
But there you go, that is my update for November. Did I put it in, I don't think I even factored this into my Christmas festive season. Um, let me just double check. Oh damn. <laughs> so the next update is going to be a little bit later. So I would have had it uploading on the 1st of January. But I'm doing my finale of my 22 and 2022 on that day. So this will be a little bit over a month. I'm going to do the update of this on the 6th of January. So yeah, it's gonna be like a couple of days late, but it's fine. Um, I'm still gonna be like, you know, resetting the month at the end of the year on the 31st. Um, but yeah. There we go, that is the update. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if I don't speak, well, I will speak to you. I was gonna say, have a good Christmas, but. <laughs> but um, as a final warning, I'm sure you may have, be able to tell, I'm not doing anything for Christmas this year. Meaning I'm not doing anything YouTube-y. I'm not doing a Vlogmas, I'm not doing like a, a a, like a Chris, Chris Marsh series like I did last year um, which I really like the name of by the way but I'm not going to be doing that I'm just going to be uploading on the weekends as usual because life is just too busy for me to be doing this on top of that so yeah um, that's what I've got to update you guys on and I shall see you guys next time bye guys